Bethany Colleen. It's been a while since I showed my face, so I decided to say hello and hi and uh, greet you before talking about my mermaid animals. So for the month of May, as many of you know, I decided to take land animals and animal morph them together with an aquatic animal. And I had a lot of fun doing this. I got to see over the month span my style and my confidence grow. Um, and I hope you will be able to see it as well from day one to day 31. I also saw when I started to get bored. <laughs> I made it like 27 days. So I'm going to say that is pretty good. That is almost till the end of the month that I reached my threshold. But I was diligent and I continued on and pushed through. And I'm really proud of myself for doing that. I could definitely see the last maybe two or three animals I just kind of rushed and wanted to get done so I could draw something else during the day. But yeah, I'm gonna show you all of my mer animals and tell you their silly names and uh, let you see. So on March 2nd is when I came up with this idea. I hadn't ever completed a full challenge for like a full month. I had done some challenges where I would do it for a couple weeks or I would just be like one a week or like even in October, this past October when I did Inktober, I, I worked on it pretty diligently, but I didn't do like one a day. Uh, so I wanted to really challenge myself and do a challenge. How can many times can I say challenge? <laughs> So day two was when I came up with the idea. So on May 2nd, I drew three animals. I drew one for the day before, and then I ended up drawing two that day because I was having fun. <laughs> so the day one that I decided is I wanted to make one with an elephant. I thought it would be really humorous to have an elephant with like a very flowy fish because elephants are so big and stocky. And so I decided that an elephant and a koi fish would be just tickle my fancy just enough. So I made my Elikoi and I had a lot of fun with my Elikoi. Um, if I was to do it again, I think I would be able to do it a little bit better now with more confidence and probably make the head a little bit bigger. I was still trying to get the ratio between the two animals blending together. So on that same day, that was for March 1st, not March, May, that was for May 1st. And so then what I did for May 2nd was um, I combined a giraffe with a betta fish. <laughs> and so I called it my giraffetta. I keep looking down because they're right down in front of me. <laughs> and my giraffetta was my next one. I had, um, I think this was one of my favorites that first day that I did it. It was this one and then the next one I'm gonna talk about. And again, I think if I was to redo this uh, again, I would understand like how I would like to shade it and stuff before adding in the animal details. And I think it would look a little bit more complete, but I had a lot of fun stretching myself with that one. And I had so much fun, I decided to continue on and I did an extra one for May 2nd, which works out because I think later on in the month, I did miss a day. So this can help me catch up for that day. So what I wanted to do was a hippo and I decided to combine a hippo and a goldfish because I thought the colors together, because they're kind of on the opposite side of the color wheel, would be kind of interesting to see what I could do. And so I made my gold hippo. <laughs> and uh, yeah, so that was all that I did on May 2nd. So even though my gold hippo was for the next day and I ended up doing one the next day, it worked out. So May 3rd, so the third day, I wanted to do a raccoon and so I searched Pinterest for various black and white fishes fish yeah not fishes <laughs> black and white fish that I could you know decide from and so I found a picture of a zebra fish so the zebra fish looks very similar to some other fish um, the reference I was looking at was a zebra fish um, it very much looks like kind of like the lionfish and other fish so whatever fish this is, I combined it with my raccoon, which while I was making it, it did make me think of my little sister because she used to absolutely love raccoons when we were growing up. So that was May 3rd. May 4th, 
I was using a prompt from one of my followers and she asked if I would do a red eye tree frog and I was really excited to try to stretch myself <laughs> and so I scoured the internet for fish that had some green and maybe a little bit of red to tie in the red eyes and the green of the frog and I came across the rainbow trout and I was like you know what I think that's gonna have the closest bright colors for it and so I combined it if I was to do this again I would probably make the frog's head a little bit bigger but then also it's really humorous <laughs> with how small it is for this fish so here is uh, my red-eyed tree frout <laughs> and uh, I really had fun with that one I started getting semi more confident with that one but I wasn't quite to where I'll, I'll tell you which one that I really started clicking so then May 5th May 5th, I wanted to do an animal that another follower had recommended and she wanted to see a snake. And I was like, okay. <laughs> I was trying to figure out how to do a snake without making it look like an eel. Um, and I'm really glad she had actually asked me to do that because it stretched me just enough. And so I decided to combine a uh, cobra because of the hood. So it would look a little less eel-esque. Eel, little less like an eel. Let's just say it that way and it did so what i i didn't even tell you i combined it with a sea dragon i keep getting ahead of myself when i'm talking so i added the cobra with a sea dragon and it to me didn't look like an eel it actually looked like another aquatic animal and i thought it was kind of pretty <laughs> so may 6th i actually got the idea from my dad because he thought it would be hilarious if I drew a mermaid. <laughs> so a meerkat as a mermaid. So of course, like with my mermaids, I liked to combine more into just like an aquatic animal instead of making it like, like a legit mermaid. So I combined the meerkat, I don't even remember what this fish is called. Um, it looked kind of like a bee <laughs> to me because it had some stripes on it, but it was similar colors to the meerkat. And so that was my Day six, May 7th, I was giggling like the whole time I was making this because I wanted to draw a puffer fish, but I wanted to take a fierce animal that, you know, people can be afraid of and put it with like this inflating animal that just like kind of floats around and can't do much <laughs> except be pokey to protect itself and also toxic. But I came up with a lion. And so I decided that it would be really funny if there was like this lion and it like saw you and it was like, Rawr! and it would just like puff up and like float around. So I seriously laughed to myself and at myself for the entire time of this. <laughs> so here's my lion puffer fish. I think also if I redid this one again, I would like to make it look a little less, um, I, I would like to make it more refined, I guess. So. Maybe I'll go back and do some of these, but most likely not. <laughs> okay, May 8th. May 8th, I really enjoyed this fish. I really enjoyed the colors. I really enjoyed creating it. And so what I did is I wanted to do some sort of bird. I love birds. They're some of my favorite animals in the world. I used to own a cockatoo and I haven't talked about her much on here because it's even though it was like three years ago that she passed away, I'm still very raw about it. So I needed to do a parrot and I decided to do a toucan. And uh, I liked the colors on the toucan's beak and decided that I would make a toucan tang. So kind of like a dory. <laughs> and here is my toucan tang. And that was May 8th. So let's do May 9th. On May 9th, I did an animal recommended by one of my best friends and she wanted me to do a snow leopard. She loves snow leopards, and so I actually hadn't ever drawn a snow leopard before, so it was kind of a challenge. I'm I'm not going to lie, I was not 100% pleased with how it came out, so this would be one that I would do again. I think what happened was it was going well, and then I pushed through a little bit too far and made it a little bit muddy, and so it's just me being nitpicky on it, really. Um, so I combined the snow leopard with oh, why am i so itchy all of a sudden because i'm talking to you guys i combined it with a grouper the fish was called like a grouper and it had like a whole bunch of black polka dots on like a white body and i thought that would be similar enough to the coat of a snow leopard so here it is and then may 10th 
this is another one that I kind of rushed and I keep saying this about all of them until I get to the fish that you guys can really see where it clicked. So I'm not to that quite fish yet. So I'm still trying various things um, to please my artistic judgment on myself, I guess. <laughs> so I wanted to do a panda and I found this fish that had a yellow body and a white with a little bit of black face. Um, ooh, what was it called? A low? I don't remember. I had low in its name. I, I'll put it in words here because I'm not going to pause this and go look it up. So the fish is like a yellow body and like a black and white on the head and I was like well that's perfect for like a panda so I added a panda black and white on the yellow body but as you can see it's just it, it looks very quick it, it does look like I kind of made this quick it's cute and I could easily fix it I just don't want to <laughs> the next day I decided to take like a salamander lizard kind of looking creature and um, I combined it again with a beta, beta fish because I just really wanted like a pink flowy kind of fish and so it almost looks like it's wearing a dress. Here is that one. Again, I do enjoy it. It's not my favorite, uh, but I did enjoy doing different colors. There's something that's just a little confusing about the body to my eyes, so I don't know if it's just my eyes or if anyone else sees it. But I, I think I'm just going to find something on each one of these. It's, <laughs> it's just part of that artist thing. Uh, May 12th, day 12th, I decided to do a bee because I love bees, we need bees, and I decided to do a bee combined with this like angelfish that I found, and the angelfish had black body with thin uh, yellow stripes, and so I thought that that was pretty close to a bee. And here is my Bengal fish. It's a bee and an angelfish. And then May 13th, May 13th, it started to click. It started to click where the ratio between the land animal and the sea animal began to like even out a little bit more. It wasn't just putting head on body. I was like actually trying to create what would this creature really be to be able to move around and everything. So I found uh, this picture on Pinterest of a chihuahua and the chihuahua was covered in pearls. And I was like, Ugh. So it's perfect. It's like half dressed for um, being a mermaid already. So I took that as a reference picture and I combined it with an octopus because why not? And I came up with my chippus. Yeah. And that's when I started adding pearls to some of the animals. Instead of just having the animals like, yeah, I could have been decking them out with like mer jewelry or like seaweed and other things, but I was just so focused on the animal that I really didn't add extra stuff yet. So that was the first one that I started to stretch a little bit more and have a little bit more fun with it. May 14th, uh, yeah, this one makes me laugh. See, because I didn't see this until my sister said it and after my older sister said it, now I can't unsee it and it's really funny. So May 14th is my many spotted owl. So I took a barn owl where their face is kind of like the smushed white against everything. And so I took that barn owl and I combined it with this many spotted fish. And she's like, it kind of looks like one of those like Swiss rolls that you just like cut part of the top off. And I was like, it does. So every time you cut it, would you see like a new face? I don't know, but it made me laugh. So I had fun with that. All right, day 15. Day 15, I wanted to do a sugar glider because I found them very cute and I'd never drawn one. So I did a sugar glider and I combined it. To be honest with you, I think I made up the fish body on this one. I don't think I really had a reference. I think I made it up with the color system. I don't remember what fish I combined. And I was writing on them to help remember me, remember, for me, remember? Anyways, uh, but I didn't write it on that one. So we're gonna go to May 16th. May 16 was a favorite of a lot of people, and it did come after things started clicking with me. And what I wanted to do was I wanted to do a seahorse, but I wanted to have an animal with the seahorse that was like similar enough, but then ironic enough. And so I decided to make my rhino seahorse. 
Ah, oh, I love this guy. I really do. Um, there's actually stickers of him on Redbubble and it's been my most selling thing so far. And it's so cute. <laughs> Um, I really enjoyed the colors. I liked adding the pearls. Um, I was laughing during this one as well. And I think if you're laughing when you're drawing, then you're just gonna have more fun and you're gonna be more creative. So I was really just trying to be like, finding the most ironic things to keep me happy and laughing. <laughs> so then we're gonna go to May 17th. May 17th, I did a zebra. And I did the zebra with a black and white clownfish because I wanted black and white so you could tell it was for sure a zebra not a horse and here is my zebra clown with a little bit of a pearl necklace on there and then the next two days I think what happened was I got a really bad migraine and I didn't draw for three days I think and so when I started drawing I made up for it um, and I drew one extra large piece to count for two days and then the next piece. So the piece that I had that counted for two days for me, which I could do because earlier in the month, remember I had that extra one? Yay. Uh, <laughs> I decided to make a jellyfish animal and I thought it would be really funny to make a jelly pig. So here is my jelly pig. And so the other animals I was doing like two on a page to kind of save paper. Um, but this one I did extra large and it made me giggle. <laughs> so then we go to, so that was for, to, I don't remember the numbers, like 1819. Yeah, 1819. And then on May 20th, I decided uh, to do one that my brother and I had been joking about. And we were like, okay, well, why don't we like take an animal that really can't fly and make it fly with a flying fish and so we we're like penguins penguins have never been able to fly so let's make them fly now even they kind of are an aquatic animal i mean they're they're both they're land and an aquatic animal uh but let's give them some wings that actually will let them glide over the water and i mean technically i guess they're not flying but there is my flying fish penguin <laughs> um and then yeah the next day may 21 I wanted to do a cow, but I wanted to do like one of those like highland, like really hairy cows that like you can't even see their eyes. And uh, so I combined that one and I did it with a bull shark because I mean, I drew a bull cow and but I liked making things that made me giggle while I was drawing it. So here is my bull shark, my highland bull shark. <laughs> And then, okay, we're gonna get to May 22. This is one of my absolute favorites. And uh, yeah, so I came across this little baby bunny picture and I was just like kind of looking up and I was like, oh my God, that is adorable. So I took the bunny looking up and I combined it with an orange clownfish because I'd done the black and white one, but it wasn't as like, oh my goodness, my brain. It wasn't as, what's the word? Recognizable. Where is my brain? It wasn't as recognizable as the orange and white uh, fish. So I combined the two and I had so much fun. Here is my little bun. I think it is super cute. Uh, I am gonna be working on adding this into my red bubble soon. I'm just trying to figure out how to go around the whiskers so it looks good. And then the next day. Okay, I, <laughs> I didn't plan this next one. What, what made it so funny to me um, was it was an accidental pun. So I wanted to do a chicken and I wanted to combine the chicken with a very colorful fish. And I found this picture of a fish and I didn't even look up the name and I started drawing them together. After I finished it, I looked up the name and it was called a mandarin. So I drew a mandarin chicken, <laughs> which you guys have already seen on my channel but i i'm not even kidding you i laughed for like two days <laughs> because it was an accidental pun and i had like actually been trying the ones before and anyways here's my mandarin chicken and yeah if you want to watch the video for this i'll link it all right the next day i had been contacted by one of my best friends um that i've known since seventh grade and i was like okay i'm starting to run out of animals i just kind of pick a random one every day do you have any ideas and she's like yeah you can do my favorite animal which is a bison 
And I was like, oh yeah, I haven't, I don't think I've ever drawn a bison. So <laughs> this is another one that I like, it tickled my funny bone and I was laughing at my own joke. <laughs> so I did a bison with a crab because why not? And that's my bison crab. <laughs> All right, uh, and then day 25, I did a koala, and I didn't, I didn't really have a fish in mind that I liked for the koala, so this is another one that I just created, and I decided to make him a galaxy space-looking koala, because as some of you know, many, probably, I love space. I absolutely love space, and if there's a way that I can draw it, or a chance, I will. <laughs> then we're gonna get to May 26th. I was still going full steam. I was still having a lot of fun with this on day 26, as you can see. Um, and so this next one was an okapi, which was recommended by my mom. Um, she loves okapis and she loves like giraffes and I had already done a giraffe. So I did an okapi and I combined it with this, like it was called like a lightning fish. So there it is. I really liked the white design that the fish had in the picture. And so I kind of took that and then made it my own. <laughs> I'm looking at day 27. Day 27. Okay, I think this is where I did start to run out of steam. I think it was like in the middle of painting this and I just was like, I want to be done. I want to be done. I want to be done. But I was like, no, no, no. Push through. You've made it 27 days. There's only 31 days in the month. You can do this. Um, so it is good. But like I rushed the sketch and I, I, I regret because like I have one of the hands of the mom kangaroo <laughs> hint, uh, over the baby Joey's face and I uh, wasn't the best composition design for me to do what I just wanted to be done. So here is my Dolph Roo and Doey. So dolphin kangaroo and then the Joey, as you can see the hands just kind of covering and it's just, I don't know, it's not terrible, but it's just not the greatest. Okay, 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 okay. day 28 though, I had a little semi-resurgence because it was another one that tickled my funny bone. So I decided to do a sloth. And what is another animal in the ocean that is very slow? A starfish. So here is my, this is my star sloth. <laughs> and then day 29, I decided to do a, a swordfish. I actually chose the fish first before the land animal, which usually it was the other way around. But I really wanted to do a swordfish and then I was thinking, I was like, okay, well, what's the land animal that's like got something in common? And I was like, well, the anteaters have those long noses, so let's just do an anteater swordfish. So here is that. And that was the last day that I decided to pick random animals. I knew the last three days of the month I wanted to do my pets. So on the 29th, Oh, I'm so confused on days. No, that was the 29th. The 30th, <laughs> I know numbers, I can count. <laughs> on the 30th, I did Denver. I did my dog Denver and I decided to make him into an orca. And here is my dorka whale, cause he is a dork and he's my dog and he's an orca whale. And I do enjoy his face on this. I tried to add a little bit of like the water reflection, ref refraction or reflection. I think I combined both those words together, but I tried to add those on the top of it and I think I did too many, but it's still good. All right, we're on the last one. Oh my goodness, we almost made it through the month. <laughs> and this one, <laughs> I'll show it to you, but I'm not gonna lie, I don't like it. I know I could do better. And I know if I just like took the time and re-sketched it and like I could do it, but I'm burnt out right now. So maybe I'll come back to this. Um, I think before I put it in the color, absolutely before I put it in the coloring book, if I'm putting it in there, I just want to fix Theo's face. So I did my two cats. I did my two cats together and I did them as like koi catfish. Um, I wanted the catfish whiskers because but I'm, shh, they're cats. Um, but I also liked the way that koi's looked better. And with my cat's black and white spots, it just kind of fit. So I mashed them together and the sketch looked like them. It looked like it was on par, but when I painted it, I realized it wasn't. So Theo's face is like a little bit off and it bugs me because I know what she's supposed to look like, you know, she's my cat. So it just bugs me and I know I'm 
I don't know. Anyway, so here are my two cats as mermaids, and uh, yeah, Theo's face is not my favorite. But I did laugh because this is, I mean, Theo's my chunky monkey kitty and Gracie's my thin little dainty kitty. And so I thought it would be really funny to draw them. <laughs> but yeah, I am taking like probably a week break and then I'm going to be working on making a coloring book with these. I have about two or three of these for stickers and as random merchandise in my red bubble. This is kind of weird pipping out myself, so bear with me. <laughs> um, but if this is my job, I'm gonna have to do it here and there. But yeah, let me know if there's anything else that you would like to see with these, anything else you would like to know about this. I hope you enjoyed listening to my ramblings and I will see you next video.